This is a process trailer, camera car, dolly, dolly track. Uh, when actors are acting, they can't drive very well anyway, so we tend to do it on a piece of equipment like this so they don't hurt anybody. Um, just allows them to only have to do one thing at a time. The director talks to them on headsets or walkie-talkies, tells them what he wants. We do all the coverage right here. It's pretty simple. If it weren't 105 degrees, it'd be a great day. All right, hey guys, uh, I'm Mark Davis. I'm the key grip on this show. Uh, in and around the film industry for 25 years. Basically, I mean, everything we do is the director pretty much tells us what he's wanting and needing. He passes that on to the director of photography, then we work directly under him. I do the rigging, the cameras, the electricians do the lights. Uh, it's, experience tells you where everything goes, to be honest. There's only so many ways you can shoot a car. And it's, you know, it's whatever the director needs for coverage. You know, it's depending on what, we've got three people in this scene, so we've got two cameras, the wide shot here, and the doing singles on the side. The reason we put dollies on them now is you'd do static here and you'd move the camera to do static here. Now the director on this shot, he wants us to capture the two guys talking in the front. When the buddy answers in the back seat, we drift back and get his answer. When they throw it to the front, we'll drift back and get it. It's just, you know, trying to make it, the camera car work, like I said, every, every movie you've ever seen is shot the very same way. The director's just trying to make it a little different, a little more interesting. That's all we're doing with the dolly track. It's trying to be more spontaneous and catch it on the fly. That's all. Okay. Up front's the camera car. It's got a 200 amp Jenny on it, um, which powers all the lights. Um, it's just set up. This is a, a rig that comes out of LA now. We, the film business moved to Louisiana recently, but this is pretty much a standard rig. It's a process trailer. It's as low to the ground as you can make it. Um, and a camera car. Um, unfortunately, it's probably the slowest way to make movies. It's the same way they did it when Fred Flintstone was a grip. It's a slow process. It takes, you know, it takes hours really to get it there. And it's a bit of a dangerous process, so there's a lot more things you have to watch out for. I mean, everything's moving. So I can't say it's the fastest way, but it's the only way to do car work. Um, you keep, you know, obviously on the trailer, you keep everything to a minimum. There are wrecks occasionally happen. You'll have, uh, you'll have 16, 18 people riding before it's over, counting the actors. The scene takes place and 90 seconds in the movie it takes all day to shoot it the challenge is the sun's going from this side to this side you put this over the window so the direction doesn't change so much the challenge is how the lighting changes over the day you know what i mean uh, that's all it is you try to you have to make it look like it took place in 90 seconds as long as it took to say it but it takes six hours to shoot it that's the hard part and the fact that it's 105. <laughs> this is a good situation because we're using a modern vehicle that's got good insulation and um chose hopefully the right mics we'll know in a minute um, for the application and um, I think it's gonna work out pretty good typically though I mean, if you're not as fortunate as enough to have a modern vehicle like say an old farm truck or something in this situation nothing's gonna sound good no matter what you do and you end up having to wire the actors inside the vehicle generally hardwire the actors with a lavalier mic on the chest and then they put seat belts over them in the last minute and you're like oh great <laughs> What am I gonna do now? So, and these mics should work for all three positions. Okay, we put um, three Sankin and Cub mics there. They're like cardioid um, down your layer mics in the car. For each of the positions, there's three with wind covers because the windows are gonna be down. Run the run the cable up to this precarious location where I put my sound card. And I'm gonna sit up there and bake and broil. All right, guys. So just real quick, just to go over some of the safety features of our insert car. What's gonna happen is when we go out on the road, we're gonna take our insert car with our second team, with cameras, with the people that are riding on the trailer, and there's some people riding on the actual vehicle itself. We'll take it to our number one position. We'll line up with second team, our final lineup on the road where we're gonna shoot. We're going to pull off to the side of the road. We're going to stay there until we're ready to go. We'll put first team in, in the car. We'll leave from that position and pull out into the road. Our officers will hold traffic for us. They will continue to hold traffic until the traffic is clear. We plan on going out, doing our shots, the 3.7 mile run. Then we come back and we're going to re-rig the car in that parking lot over there or maybe here, <coughs> wherever you guys want to do it. Um, right now we're going to start with, on your scenes, we're going to start with scene 23 and work our way down. It's the three guys in the car. Um, scene 24. 24, I meant. And we'll go through all that work, and then if we have time to do Tucker stuff, we will. But I think we're going to punt that to another day, I think.